all right? You know, I know you want to feel a sense of relief, but relief is only a feeling you can get if you're alive. I feel that, Moses, to be honest, I feel like no one cares about me or wants to see or hear how I feel. There is. There is. And one day you will meet those people. You will find your soul tribe. But don't give up yet. And I, I mean, yeah, you guys always call me like inspirational or like all this stuff. It's, it's sad because this, this should be common knowledge. This, this should be like all your friends should be saying this stuff to you. And all your friends should be a reminder. All your friends should be a mirror of who you want to be. And if they are not a mirror of who you want to be, you do not, you don't need those people around your life. You know, if your friends are toxic, you got to get rid of them. That's, it's not good. It's not good. And, and, and that goes for family as well, you know? Like you just have to make some space to, you know, clear your head and, like... Because a lot of the times, whenever, like, you, like, like whenever you doubt yourself, you know, like, whenever you're <clears throat> doubting yourself for some way or shape or form, it's not you. It's your friends or family. That's your subconscious, you know? You were born as a blank slate. Anytime you tell yourself you can't do something, it's because someone's, someone's told you to compare yourself to someone or something, you know? And that's not you. That's your subconscious. So don't listen to it. Basically, I'm basically saying don't listen to yourself because yourself doesn't know what it wants. Your self is only a filter for your... Tr your real self is hidden. It's hidden in here. You are not your thoughts. You are observing your thoughts. You get me? Yeah, unfortunately, fam doesn't always have your best interest. I personally cut off my family, and I only visit them when I decide I, I want to visit you. them. Don't come in my room while I'm changing. You guys hear that? We're going into Sean's room oh. while he's changing. I don't have friends. That's why I watch your videos to make you feel like... You know what? Look. One day, like I said before, you will find your soul tribe and you'll look back at moments like these and be like, yo, why was I ever worried about that? You know, what you are looking for is looking for you as well. You know, whatever you're searching for, it's searching for you, trust, all right? If you imagine your future self waiting for you, would you keep yourself waiting? No, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't, you wouldn't keep yourself waiting if you knew all the awesome things that are waiting for you. You wouldn't procrastinate. Yeah. Like, there, is, there is no happily ever after. It's, it's what you decide every moment, every day. That's what eventually, eventually leads to your overall happiness. You may, may not have friends now, but eventually you will. So I want to put a pause on this preachiness and let's go visit Sean. Yo, so he actually was changing. Dude. I didn't think he would... <laughs> I thought he was joking, but he is changing. I thought he was joking. I thought he wanted me to visit him, but this man was actually naked. His door is wide open, so... You can't blame me. Yeah, well, he left the door open. It's not my fault. Yeah, y'all invaded his privacy. <sighs> yeah, he, he was inviting me in, basically. He was like, yo, don't come in the room. What does that mean? It means come in the room. Sean invaded his own privacy.
Yeah, Sean is double cheeked up. Do I like pineapple on pizza? Sometimes. I, I don't know where the... Yeah, he was basically begging me to come in the room. He said, Moses, don't come in my room. That's how he said it. Um, anyways. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I came in here. Dang, there's 210 people in here. That's crazy, dude. I just came in here just to let everyone know that, um, I love you. I love you. Sean's double cheeked up. One cheek, two cheek. Dude. What? Everyone, dude, even before you said that, someone was like, yo, why he double cheeked up? Well, it's because yeah, I saw you changing, uh, bro. Really? Yeah, they saw you changing. No, I, I literally, I, you tell Moses, hey, if you tell Moses anything, he'll do the opposite. Like, yo, Moses, don't drive my car. I have a flat tire. And then he'll call me when he's down the street. He's like, yo, dude, what, what the heck? You got two flat tires. I'll be like, dude, I literally told you not to drive. Oh, I thought you were joking. I thought you were joking, dude. He never takes anything serious, dude. That's why I love him. <laughs> they screen recorded it too. Dude. <laughs> he let the door wide open. I told you not to come. <laughs> What's the point of telling you? I should have just not said anything. You wouldn't have yeah, even come. That's your fault. It's your fault, dude. <laughs> Everyone's like, someone just said, no, it's my fault. I told him to go. Damn, yeah. You know, blame yourselves. Dude, you just... You guys are all... Dude, I, was gonna... I, I came here just to tell you guys that I love you, and then I was going to go leave and walk my dogs. But now I came here just to tell you guys that... No, no. You guys are cool. All right. It's all his fault. No, I said it not. You said it weirdly. All right, now you blame the, the victim. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm still procrastinating. I should have cleaned my room so much faster. My hat's all weird. Yeah, I have to go get my hair dyed. You guys keep roasting my hair, so I gotta go dye my hair. Oh. But yeah, no, Sean does have a door. He left his room door and his bathroom door open. It's not my fault. My fault. Fault. <laughs> I trusted you. Of course I'm going to leave my door open because I came in here and I trusted you. His room door and bathroom door are open. That's like me telling you, like, yo, dude. Yes, yes. I I left left. Someone said, you're so true. It's Sean's fault. Dude, that's he like wanted me us leaving to see. a burrito out in the kitchen being, yo, dude, please don't eat this burrito. My grandma's coming over and she's going to be really hungry. Don't no, eat the yeah, burrito. And then, and and then, then, but then and it's then, like leaving the burrito like on the table fully cooked with a knife and fork with a sign that says, Moses, please eat the burrito. That's the equivalent. I don't think, I don't think anyone here should be on his side. If I just said, hey, don't, don't come in my room, I'm, I'm on a phone call. Don't come in my room while I'm on the phone. That's one thing. But I said, don't come in my room because I'm changing. I'm not wearing any clothing. Please do not come in my room in front of 200 of your friends. <laughs> no, no. Don't look. No.
That'll teach him. Yo, what the fuck? Get the fuck out the room. Get out. <laughs> Get out, Maria. <laughs> I'm gonna walk my dogs and I'm going for a dinner. Oh, really? <laughs> right down. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go let the hair dye. Better go now. What? You have to go soon. They're gonna close. I know, I know. I just want to fix my bed real quick. Okay, I'm gonna catch up on all the comments. They're like, yo, Moses hates Sean and his dogs. Facts. Moses, what's the fandom name? The Everyone Beanie. knows this. Beanie Babies. The Beanie Babies. Bing. I'm not reading your comment. You know who just said the thing in the comments that I'm not reading. I'm not reading it. Beanie Babies Forever. Can you say hi, Alexis? Yes, Alexis. Can you say it now? Hi, Alexis. Hello. Um. Dude. Hello. There's a lot of cool people in here. I want to be friends with all of you. I don't know if I'm going to re-dye my hair. Moses said he liked it blonde. And I trust what Moses says because he's one of the nicest people I've ever met. Besides when he does the random kidnapping things and beats me. Um, besides that, he's like, <laughs> you know, my bestie. So I trust what he says. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna leave it blonde for like a couple days. Bing. Can you buy me toner? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Thank you so much for your advice. I really appreciate it. More than you know. Thank you so much. Damn, that shit smelled good. Ooh, that shit smelled good. Ooh, that shit smelled good. Someone said, why aren't you at the hype house? I don't have enough hype. How he many, doesn't have enough hype. I'm, I'm gonna stop. How many times are I gonna tell y'all? Hmm? 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 Y'all kill me with this shit. Y'all kill me with this shit. Damn, you just spilled water all on my brand new shoes. Uh, Dude, you're just ruining everything about me today. Yo, fuck it. Thank you so much, I'm Alexandria for the TikTok Panda. The Kanye West Panda, dude. Oh, Kanye West Panda. Yo, what are you doing back in the room? Hype house. This is the house. What? It smells so good it knocked the phone over. Thank you, Jasmine Joy, on behalf of giving him the gifts. He really needs a TikTok coin. Nope. Hey, one of those shirts is mine. Fuck it, my shirt's mine. No! <laughs> Do that. Oh my god. Do you guys see what I have to deal with? Thank you, Jasmine Joy. Dude, she's giving you like 5,000 coins. Oh, Jasmine Joy, thank you so much. Amanda Souza. Guys, before I leave, I just wanted to let you know one thing, and it means so. Yo, guys. Um. Hope you guys are safe. Hope you guys are good. Stay safe. I gotta go get hair dye. I might go live oh. later. I might go live later to show you guys oh. my hair. But you guys are awesome. Take care. What?